So the way that SSRIs work is that they initially block the reuptake of serotonin after it floods into the synapse. And this initially leads to higher levels of serotonin in the synapse at first. And that extra serotonin can lead to initially better mood symptoms. But here's the catch. The body is really intelligent. It's always trying to come back into homeostasis, into balance. And what the body's response is to that increased level of serotonin is to downregulate or decrease the production or expression of serotonin receptors that sit on the outer layer of each neuron. So over time, there is decreased serotonin receptor expression, especially the 5-HT1A receptor. Over time, the brain literally becomes less sensitive to serotonin. This adaptation is actually called tachyphylaxis, which is a rapid decrease in effectiveness of a particular drug because of the body's response in this way of downregulating or desensitizing someone to the drug's effects. And this is why SSRIs tend to not work in the long term. They can help for a short amount of time, but these drugs were never designed to be taken chronically for years like they are in so many people and why you start to see all of a sudden the drugs becoming ineffective. But then there's this physiological dependence that develops and then a process of needing to taper off of the medication becomes the single foremost challenge.